right, we're here. We're at the gym. Um, which has been good. I've gone the last few. I've gone to the gym the last two days. And it's been fine. I've been eating well. Had a little bit of ice cream the other day in a moment of weakness, but then immediately felt like shit. Immediately. Not like spiritually, but physically. That was whack. I spent the last 72 hours creating a teddy bear wonderland. Theodore taking over my life. His name's Theodore. The last three days. Excitingly taking over my life. But, uh... <laughs> There's a lot, there's a lot of drawings. Get my Procreate onto stream. So I can bring up all my drawings on stream now. Look at that, crazy. Pretty crazy, huh, Omar? Omar, pretty crazy. <laughs> Alex went to go get more wax. My boy Andrew is on the way over here with some new nails because my nails are destroyed since I got home from, even before I left for Japan, the nails just got fucking wrecked. I've wrecked so many expensive ass nails. It's unreal. I feel really, I don't, I don't know. People tell you to use different solutions, this, that, and the third. It just ends up where one day you just get too stoned and the fucking nail gets fucked up. Like, they just end up getting... When you dab like I dab, you chaz nails like every day. Literally, been sitting here, going to the gym, and going to get steak and going to sleep. That's all I've That's all I've been doing. Ern is still out of town. He gets back tonight. He ain't vlog shit in New York like I said he would. Really diving deep on the teddy bears. Like the... They are taking over my mind. I can't stop. I think my first, first off I'm dropping a t-shirt, like right. There's two t-shirts coming. I have a couple of ideas of things that I want to do with the teddies, with the Theodore. So I'm just obsessed right now with just, and I'm learning a lot of stuff on my iPad. Like I really, am, people always ask me about Procreate. I'm not that good at Procreate. I've gotten better uh, substantially over the last 48 hours because I've had to look up stuff to make my workflow easier. Procreate's sick, dog. I can't, it's sick, but uh, Trying to attack a new project. I think I don't think I don't want to announce what my real plan is with the bears, but I think I think I got some shit I want to do. That's what happens when you start working on projects. You get a lot of ideas and you never know which ideas you're gonna to work towards in the end. So right now I'm gonna do a color and book first before anything. Well, t-shirts are coming. Grills. Talk about the grill, the auto grill. There's some people in the comments saying cast iron works the best. For That's great. I've never gotten it cast iron to do what I can get that thing to do with the fire touching the meat. Pause. Uh, but when the fire touches the meat and the top flow and the, the, the fat bubbling down, that shit's amazing. It's expensive. So a cast iron skillet is obviously a lower investment and definitely works. I mean, people use cast iron and get great results. I'm I'm just not that good at it. I need more more uh I don't need but I wanted I wanted this thing for ease and that's one thing is the ease of it all and with cast iron I always smoke out the house the whole house smells like I gotta open every door and window turn off fire alarms like people are asking me what's worth what blah blah blah, blah. honestly the grill itself the auto wild you can use by itself and it's amazing you just have to let your steak sit out for a you know good time really learn how to cook the steak if you couple the cinder and the auto together it's like foolproof fucking ridiculous I'm not gonna try and say the other sous vide <laughs> I don't know how to say it. People keep sending me messages to me like, this is how you say it, I, it doesn't matter. Sous vide, whatever, cinder cooking. If you do the cinder and then the auto, it's unreal. The cinder by itself is also great. The sear on it, not amazing. I, don't, I think the sear on it is good, but I don't think the sear on it is like I would want. It's not as crispy as I like it. All, all of them separately are great. Together they work like really ridiculously. You also, yes, can do all these things without any of this equipment. It's really about how convenient, how much money you want to spend, um, and whether or not you want a toy or like toy. Another final review on the new AirPods is they're way better than the other AirPods, but it's also mostly because they stay in your ear. Um, as far as shoes go, I think I'm gonna order, I don't hate the Reebok Boost. Like I really, I don't hate it. I don't, I, when I was in Japan, I said, go back to the floor. Like, I love this upper. I think it was on a slide. I was like, I, I think I say it. If it was on Boost, I grab it. Or to throw Boost on it. I don't fucking remember. You have to ask the Boost or not. You know, I don't really know. Uh, but uh, I like, I like the shoe. I want to check it out. I want to see what it's all about. That rhymed. I can get them for a good discount, so I'll probably go ahead and cop. I don't love the colorways, though. The colorways are kind of atrocious. I think they're like the classic colors, but I don't really love them. I don't really even really need shoes. I probably shouldn't be buying any, but, you know, I get sucked in a little bit here and there on new things. Been watching them fucking terrible TV with Alex. Oh, this toy came in. My Able sent this the other day. I never opened it. I used it as a palette. Started working on this, this guy. Get my visuals going. The ideas are cranking here. Let's see. Yo, Teb, my name is Abe, and I always wanted to make a toy. Watching your vlogs and seeing your growth pushed me to do my own thing. Abe presents. Oh, this is fucking sick. Look, it's got packaging and everything. Look. 
This is sick. It's like a little brain inside the fuck. This is dope, bro. That's super cool. Am I supposed to open it? That's the thing I don't know. Is it supposed to just stay shut? I feel like if I open it, this is going to spill out. Or I'm going to ruin it. Oh, well, I don't think I'm supposed to open it. Hit me up and tell me if I'm supposed to open this. I feel like I'm not. I feel like it's supposed to just stay displayed inside the box. Like so. It's pretty dope, man. Sick. Thanks, bro. It's cool. I need to make toys. I'm gonna make a toy. I gotta figure a lot of, there's a lot of stuff I wanna do, man. That's a, I wanna make, I wanna Procreate 5 to come out because it's gonna have animation. I would love to make some little animations. I wanna make, you know, just to be fully honest, I wanna make some big ass, like big work. I need, really need to make big work. That's like what I really feel like. I love making the clothes and stuff, but you know what, I wanna, yeah, I just wanna make bigger stuff. That's where I'm at. And right now, I'm just doing a lot of drawing, a lot of thumbnailing, basically. Murals, installations, whatever I want. That's where I'm at this week. Who knows how long it'll last. Screaming Diesel Haze. That's, even though it says hybrid, that's supposed to be super go-go. Gorilla Manga mm. and Hot Tangy. Mm. It's gonna drag me in so far. <laughs> so They're the like breaking down. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stay married? How long do they have to do this? They have like 30 days, I think. That's it. I want to do everything I possibly can for our marriage to work. Went to bed mad early last night, to be fair. I know I'm dark. Hey, DJ Dirty Earn flew in last night. We got the, uh, we got the friends and family drops back up. Today, teddy bears all night long, all day long. I didn't really drink. I watched that stupid ass show with Alex. Four, it's 4.30 now. I like going four. Cause there's just less people awake on the planet. Well, not on the planet, but this side of the planet. It just feels like cosmically more soothing <laughs> this early. In the I made the mistake yesterday getting to the gym too late and there was some fucking jock gladiator working out every personal issue he has. Friends and family's getting another look for a lot. Oh, I have it. Easy. This will be short. I'm just doing this fucking power lifts, bro. Pull some deadlifts, some rows. And that's about it. What are you doing on the side of the couch? Why are you pouting? The bunny went to the vet. Are you worried or something? I don't understand why you're on this per She's fine. Oh, that's good. Look out, Omar. Can you let her out? I know, did you miss her? Did you I did. Miss he, her? As soon as you left, he just sat on that perch and just like whimpered. Really? Yeah. Omar, let the shorty out of her cage, dog. Just had a rough morning. Abner, at ease. She got poked that in the eyes. Yo! Right when I turned the camera on, too. You aren't gonna vlog me uh, <laughs> installing this think, door? I think I caught the essence of it right here. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. Shit. I gotta go get food no matter what. So there's nice. that. I figured we should catch up. I yeah. Um, where's, your, where's the vlog? Well, the vlog? there's no footage in New York. Are you supposed to do the whole vlog? I took the last four days and just drew. It's relying on you, man. I was relying on this action pack. There's no action. Airport. I was expecting a steak and a wine. Expecting you to open the door to your house and to see your mother and her holding her paper, like throw it in the air. I was like looking for a whole vibe. No, instead it was me at the merch place being told that half the shit was printed wrong. <laughs> They're printing it now. Oh shit! Like a week. Yeah. Oh my god. I, which the good thing is we were ahead a week. Like we were actually way ahead, and now we're just like right on right, schedule right with their with their yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's lucky, me. It's as lucky with a dice. Hey, like, takes you to casino. After hours mapping right there. So, how was New York? It was whack. Yeah, I had a few. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> the merch thing was just such a bummer the whole weekend. It was like right. this was the whole plan. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I fly back to Monday night. in Mexico, dog. That, maybe I'll vlog. I don't Two feet know. To I, the wind. You're going to vlog your honeymoon? Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know what, like, how. I mean, be... I would vlog my honeymoon if I was going to get married and I'm going to catch hell for that. <laughs> uh, that's just different. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna much. Like, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm over here drawing, painting, looking for something. Let's cut the urn. You're <laughs> sitting by the candles. Yeah. Here we are. Brady's got straight sex hair. Yeah. <laughs> to keep it all together. Yeah, I don't know what to do. You should dress up in your. Uh, wedding attire. Like a full and suit. And fly straight there. Burn her wedding gown, you and your suit. Oh, that's a good idea. We're like, oh, like, just got married. You're like, nah, I was 
two years ago. Oh Speaking of which, Alex has been making me watch. Well, she hasn't been making me watch it. Like, I walk by the TV and then I catch a part of it and I'm just, my jaw drops to the floor and I'm like, no way, is this real? What's up? 90 Day Fiance was the first one, which is just incredible. These fucking simp motherfuckers <laughs> just fucking, dude, it's like the Simp Olympics. They just fucking, they just, Simp Olympics. They, these dudes it's all mail order brides essentially. They're all mail order brides in some. A angle. Maybe they didn't mail, maybe they didn't order, but they're all foreign. Yeah. It's all fucking weird. What is it? They have 90 days? To because they're here on a visa, so they have 90 days to get married. They have to get married within 90 days or they have to go back to their country. It's like a fucking relationship visa or something. Wow. Yeah, it's so crazy, dog. Like, it's so crazy. That is crazy. And then the next next show, the segue, married on, it's not, it's, <laughs> I call it married on sight, but it's married at first sight. <laughs> married on sight. They, these people, they let relationship fucking ex experts gauge like who they should be with and they just get married without ever seeing each other like bitch just standing at the altar way and he comes out boom married then they just go to a honeymoon together what the don't fuck? it's the the thing is is there's only about fucking three minutes of actual content and the episode's like 45 fuck minutes long and i'm sitting there and i'm losing it they'll talk to the fucking janitor you know whoever the fuck and i think the marriage is gonna last they They'll show a fight at the beginning of the episode. They're just real world road rules challenge tricking me all over it. You fucking show this fight and I'm like, oh shit, it's lit. I'll stay for the fight and I sit down. <laughs> and then it's fucking 20, 30 minutes later, I'm like, God damn it, Alex. <laughs> you just <laughs> Is it locked? This has a little magnetic grip. Oh, but it show, that's cool. Close it. Is primarity is the most important thing in the world? <laughs> I got you. This fucking show is terrible, Alex. Do I turn it off? Here, I'm gonna go working when I'm done cooking. I I'm really feeling uh, a great connection at this moment. I'm thinking, hey, maybe this is where things kind of turn around for us a little bit. Imagine if you did this whole thing and you didn't get laid. You know what I'm saying? Like you never get to the point where you get any physical affection out of this. I don't think any case of that one. I know, so you're, you just basically go through 30 days of a relationship hell just to fucking... Give it all? Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Different kind of mail today. I'm gonna read this. Let's see what it says. I feel a little scattered. Um, the clothing brand thing is all good, great. I love making clothes. Um, I don't really love all the issues that arise with making clothes. It's, it's definitely uh, super annoying, but shout out to friends and family for one, being so supportive, and two, being so patient with everything. We still get stuff out pretty quickly, but it's, uh, you know, obviously you want it done as quick as possible. That's not really why I'm frustrated. I think I don't have enough space. I said earlier today, I need a studio. The other shop, I, I left in a fuss, but also it wasn't, en it wasn't enough room to do what I needed to do. And the landlord was anal and annoying. It's like, I need a big space where I can hang big pieces of paper and make big paintings. I'm just like kind of distracted, I guess, with that. Like, I feel a little hungover from Japan. It's like such a contrast of uh, input and there's so much exposure to so much shit. And then being back here, it's just like fucking trees and clouds. Like, I mean, I, know I don't live in like nowhere, nowhere. I live in a city and there is stuff. But when you compare them, it's not the same. You know, hangover, which I don't really miss the craziness. I miss the food. I don't miss being in craziness. Like, I don't want to go back to Japan or anything right now. It's like a vibe thing, I guess. They just can't catch a vibe here. And, <clears throat> or at least the same vibe. I, yeah, I want to make stuff. Like, I'm really in the mode, really inspired to make stuff. I think I'm going to try and do, like, a gallery show in the next year. Maybe more than one. Actually, I think maybe a couple. I just want to work on something different, you know? Uh, and it's definitely a revolver around these teddy bears, but I want to do them really big. And other stuff big too, like I've been wanting to paint big dress. Like, I just want a space, dog. Like, I, I think I made it clear. And we're gonna move out of this house. And, but that's not for like six months, so maybe I, and I don't know what the next step is. I don't know. I need to just chill here through Christmas. I'm in Colorado till Christmas, at least. I'm not going anywhere. Figure out what's next, where to go next, and try to find a space. Like, try to find somewhere where I can really, um, do all the things that I want to do, which changes like every fucking week. So, but not really. The essence of it is just like making shit. So, but yeah, I'm a little distracted. This week's a little weird. This whole probably next month is gonna be a little weird just because there's not that much going on. Like, we have our normal drops, stuff like that, but. The carnivore diet. I read a little bit of that book earlier. It's interesting. Like, I'm not either way. Like, the vegan versus uh, 
Carnivore diet is one of my favorite spectator sports on Twitter or online. Sorry, not really Twitter. I love watching people be uh, just completely fucking zealots about something and arguing to the point where they don't realize that they are so much alike that it's ridiculous. I honestly, my body does respond better when I'm eating more meat or like mostly protein and fat or however you want to describe it. Um, I don't know if I said I was going to order those Pumas. Pumas? Reeboks. I don't know if I said I was going to order them Reeboks. Uh, the other funny thing that has happened, yesterday on my Instagram, I posted this picture of this boost ball that comes from this company. It's a dog treat company. It's not, it's not a boost ball, technically. But they, it's... One, it's made by BASF. They're calling the material Infinergy. And I don't know if this is new to me that it's called Infinergy, but I'm assuming the contract with Adidas is over. Uh, I also want to bet or guess that they fight hard to keep it off footwear. That's probably coming to an end very soon. I don't know. I have zero confirmation. Somebody from Adidas might be watching this, like laughing. You know, like, ha, 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 he thinks he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about. But... I think that it's possible that it's all bets off coming soon. Um, I don't know if other shoe companies are going to jump on it or not, but it looks like YouTube videos say like new BASF foam Infinergy revolutionizes Adidas running shoe. There's a video on YouTube from 2013, so it has been called Infinergy. I'm just ignorant as fuck and don't know. I'm not the Infinergy guy, I'm the Boost guy. Shout out to the Booster Nut. Uh, that is the shit. It large is. Large amount of the expended energy. Yeah, the Boost. This is the same thing, dog. So the Boost ball is now. Now, a dog toy and so I posted it yesterday because someone tagged me in it. and then the the company they make boost balls they got like a boost frisbee it's pretty crazy the Adidas boost ball never came out for people really the way that most people wanted uh, but the best part about this whole story is is the CEO I guess of the company thanked me for the boost <laughs> She said, thanks for the boost on air hide pet dog balls. <laughs> oh, it's amazing stuff. Um, so that's funny. There's boost balls for dogs, air hide. I don't know where to buy them. People last night were asking me. Just got a call from air hide about why I was interested in their product and let them know it's Teddy spread the word. She was cracking up because she couldn't believe it. She got 60 emails last night out of nowhere. It's amazing. It's amazing shit. It's funny. It's awesome. But boost is back. If you're a dog, uh, they're putting Adi Preen in the new Yeezys. Um, I'm not, you know, let's just talk about Yeezy, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I, I've tried to avoid this uh, talk because it's like religion is sketchy and some people don't, aren't able to talk about it. Like, look, if you believe in what you believe in so strongly, talking about it shouldn't bother you. We should be able to have a dialogue where we can talk about facts that we want to present to each other without anybody getting upset. At the end of the day, you can believe whatever you want to believe in. But I come from the Bible Belt, all right? So I've been battling. At first off, I accepted Christianity when I was younger. As I grew older and became more aware, I de deconstructed my fucking childhood, which is what adulthood is. I deconstructed all the stupid shit that happened to me when I was a kid and built myself back up, still currently doing, uh, as the person that I want to operate as. A lot of Christianity comes into that. I know a lot about the Bible. I know a lot about the Christian mindset. I was raised in it. And I find a lot of it to be hypocritical. And I find a lot, like, look, I, I'm cool with all gods, all of them, whatever God, any kind of fucking symbolism, spiritual, whatever you need, dog. I'm I'm cool with all of it until you try to make it the only thing. You're like, let me light this match in here because God's got me and throw it down those gas. That's not how it works. Not it. And then it's very dangerous, I think. You want to talk about free thinking. I don't know where religion comes into play with free thinking. It's not, they don't usually go hand in hand in my experience. So, and I'm not trying to like diss anybody. I'm not way past the age of uh, triggering religious people for my entertainment. That's absolutely not what I want to do. And I don't want to undermine anybody's beliefs. We're not also going to sit around and uh, just grin and smile and say nothing when people are saying things like Jesus won the victory at the end of their sentences and it makes literally zero fucking sense. So many things in the world that we could cite about how Jesus has not won the victory. So I find it incredibly self-centered and very confused about a lot of stances that Kanye has. And that's really the sad part is there's really barely ever any elaboration because people are like so giant that they don't have to elaborate, succeed on momentum, and it won't matter, and it's all good. 
salute to you, Kanye West, but, uh, and Jesus. I'm not super into it at all. It makes me feel fucking uncomfortable at times because I know I can't talk about it freely. I can't make jokes about it without pissing people off. I don't want to piss people off. But at the same time, like, we got to be able to, like, face the reality sometimes. And I got to be able to poke fun at something that you're saying seems completely out of this fucking world to me. It creates a fucking weird space. Work, he working for God now. I don't know if that means he was working for the devil the whole time before. It's all very mythological, really, if you get down to it. It's, uh, yeah, it's a weird spot. And it's not something I want to think about when I'm buying shoes, to be honest. And it's all good. We can mix business and pleasure. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem at all. But now, I feel weird. Because you're over here preaching that we shouldn't buy material items, and we shouldn't do this, and we shouldn't do that. You sell, you sell material items. And they're expensive. So, and they're not changing. They're, it's the same stuff. The hype around it is absolutely fucking made up at this point. I mean, I don't know if it's just me and my perspective, but even just like scrolling through the internet, sneaker world in general feels like it's suffocating. It's so boring and just the same old shit every week and people arguing about the same shit. Like, it's just, a, it's a vacuum. Conversation for another day. We probably need to bring the fucking podcast back. Things are so crazy. Things are crazy right now. But anyway, about the shoes. I don't think I'm buying anymore. Like, if anybody else was like a stray, but I got tricked. Just like everybody gets tricked sometimes. But it was fun to get tricked this time for a little bit then it got not fun anyway i don't know if i'm gonna even keep the easies that i do have and i feel super petty like like oh uh, whatever but like sneaker culture in itself so fucking goofball adidas and i have our situation that there's zero updates on kanye west has gone full fucking evangelist televangel i don't fucking know you should watch that movie though with uh martin short is it martin short no i don't think it is steve martin preacher Leap of Faith. Watch that movie from 1992. I, I grew up mistreated. And a hot wire car. So I'm not really super into it. I do like some of the aesthetics. It's it's hard to separate because I don't really usually care. But this is just so like crazy. Maybe if I don't know, dude. It's also it's it's also fucking weird and crazy and annoying. It's almost annoyed to the point that I don't care anymore. And I feel like from my perspective, um, shoes have gone like in the the culture surrounding it all has gotten just whew, unbearably ridiculous, which is the same way it got when I kind of like went back down to nothing and stopped caring about shoes before. But you know what? Life is good without all that stuff. And that's the crossroad I'm at personally. Like I, um, the vlog has become somewhat harder to keep up with because I'm not doing things other than just trying to create shit. And that can get super redundant or hard to film even. It's hard to be creative and film yourself. Um, it's a little easier when Ern's here, but it's also like, what's Ern gonna do? Just stand around here all day while I paint? Like, it's not fun. And there's other work to be done on the business side. It's like a weird transition time. No travel, hungover from Japan, waiting for the holidays Everybody who knows who's been here knows that I'm not a huge fan of the holidays. We don't do Black Friday, Christmas. We don't really celebrate it like that. We usually go skiing. Did not get ski passes this year. I don't really know why other than we're both just kind of like not wanting to ski those mountains. So really what we're going to do this year is just kind of buy passes by the day. Get discount passes. Get free passes. Go to Utah. Ski one day. Like just kind of like not have the same pass and just, just didn't get one. So... That's the update, bro. That's the day. That's my thoughts. Here's a nice little brain dump for you. Sorry, there's no um, special effects in this vlog. That's pretty much it. There's a drop Saturday, noon, mountain time. It's the Kentaro stuff. It's kids stuff. I'm sure that's been said in this vlog, so here's another advertisement for you. And we'll see you tomorrow or the next day. I don't really know. See you next time. See you later. Peace.